Happy Friday, LHS. Close enough. Today is Thursday, April 13th, and today we got some news about the developments in Syria and North Korea, an uplifting story about a stranger's kindness. Also, Devin, congrats on winning the track meet on Tuesday. Oh, thanks, man. We worked really hard to get that. We, I think we broke eight school records, or tied with them, and it's our 16th win in the county championships. That's, that's really impressive, I gotta say. Thank you so much. But anyways, let's get to our morning announcements. Welcome to live from the book bus. Peggy. It's Peggy. It's announcements. All this week, our Skills USA students have completed have competed at the annual state convention, completing in competing in many categories, such as mobile robotics, auto service technology, carpentry, and broadcasting. All the first place winners will go on to nationals in June. Thank you to all who have shown. Thank you to all who have allowed the show students to go and encourage them to do well. The following are the medalists. First place in the team works. Thomas Draper, Carter Higgins, Dalton Jones, Bailey Kimball. First place culinary arts. Haley Fields winning $1,600 in scholarships. Thousand. 16,000, never mind. A lot of money. First place in commercial banking, Josh Cook with another 16,000 in scholarships. He could buy Peggy. Second place in restaurant service. Uh, Zeta Juarez winning $10,000 in scholarships. Third place in crime scene investigation. We have Emily Boyd, Nikita uh, Alarcon. Alarcon, and Robin Parker. There will be an FBLA meeting for all members Wednesday, April 19th after school in the bank. Thursday, today, is your first day to buy drinks and chips. Last day to buy drinks and chips from FBLA. Ask your teachers to go downstairs and take a look around the booths. That's the wrong announcement. We're still rolling really, though. The Bless. tennis team defeated Gallatin yesterday 13 to 1, winning matches for LHS where John Kelly, Tyler Garvin, Giovanni Santos, Caleb Jasper, Gavin Duval, Morgan Harmon, Sydney Kurtz, Addison Palmer, Nicole Bashir, and Hannah Lawson. Next match is today at home against Stewart's Creek. Where's that one? Okay. It's at the top. That's the very top? Yeah, it's the very top. Oh, yeah. Uh, students interested in running for student council office next year will need to meet this afternoon in the library. Today is the last day to purchase Blue Devil Tristan Spirit shirts. Stop by the bank during lunch. Please congratulate the following students for setting new Lebanon High School records in track and field. Zyrena Newell, Akiriana Steverson, Alyssa Francis, Ashley Grimes, Damian, Damian Jones, Jones, Dondre Harris, <laughs> Ethan Nizek, David Coville, Nathan Shields. There's a total of eight records broken. It's a lot of records. It's a lot of records. Now time to review some books. Welcome to the book review. Or this, we're still rolling. Welcome to announcements. This is book review. Welcome to the book review. This is announcements. Uh, first, we have the man without a face: the unlikely rise of Vladimir Putin. Um, this is a book about Vladimir Putin, and as you can see, he's got face. Hat but face. He doesn't have a face. He has no face, but he has face. To figure out this why book, in the book. This book about Vladimir Putin is about Vladimir Putin in Russia doing Putin things. Uh, we have t-shirts. And we have George Orwell's 1984. Good book. Good book. I enjoyed it. I mean, there's kind you can kind of predict sometimes, but it's hard um, to be camera guy. So predict why one book. Thanks. In today's news, U.S. intelligence has intercepted communications between Syrian military officials and chemical experts in planning for the attack that took place last week. U.S. officials have stated that there was, quote, no doubt that Syrian President Bashar al-Assad was responsible for the attack. There was no indication that Russian officials had had any hand in the attack, but according to the U.S. officials, that is most likely because Russia is more careful with their communication. Things sure are heating up over the seas. But they're all 
In other news, North Korea state media has issued a warning to the United States towards the possibility of a nuclear attack at any signs of aggression from the U.S. This comes in response to an American naval strike group moving through the West Pacific. As could be expected, President Trump took to Twitter in response to the threat, saying, quote, North Korea is looking for trouble. If China decides to help, that would be great. If not, we can solve the problem without them. Hmm. I don't think challenging the threat is such a well-advised idea. Let's see what Jeff and Brooke have for their idea. Bro. 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 We gotta do a show. Um, we gotta do a show, bro. We need to do a show. We gotta do a show. Um, um, jeez. Bro, we gotta do a show. Okay, jeez. Okay, okay. Oh, jeez. We gotta do a show. Oh, jeez, Joe. Welcome to Good Advice and Useful Good. I'm your host, yes. I'm your host, no. The human body has 640 muscles. Blue, blue eyes are a mutation that came from, like, I don't know, the same guy or something because they're all related and somewhere in a... Kind of weird when you think about it. Dude, don't think about too much. Don't think about too much. The Mariana Trench, Marian, Marinara Trench, 636, a lot of... 36,000 feet, real deep. It's real deep. Electric eels aren't even eels. They're kind of just really strange catfish cousins. They, um, they show up to family reunions, they drink everything, and they make you remember why you don't have those reunions anymore. Sick, dude. Dude, that's sick. You know what else is sick? Fold a piece of paper in half, uh, like 103 times, and like the thickness of the sheet of paper will be thicker than the observable universe. Is that thick with three C's? No. No. Oh. Normal spelling. The fact um, our universe is really big, so that spelling doesn't really matter to the universe. Nothing matters. This ending is forced, bro. It is forced. You forced Have a good day, universe. LHS. Not that that matters to the universe. Are you done? Uh, man. Are we man. done or something? Man, at this rate, I'm never getting that promotion. It's good. All right. Jeff. Brooke, how are y'all? Pretty, pretty all right. Pretty Solid. all right. Solid. Solid. Get some good advice, useful knowledge. Well, uh, I've talked to the... Uh, I'll talk to the, the big wigs, the sponsors. Uh, Jeff, with your recent work and the, the takeover, hmm. got a very good presentation for you. I think you've earned it. I'm not, see, see the spearmint? Yeah. Forget about it. You, sir, deserve a raise. Juicy fruit. Jeff, you know what's next after juicy fruit, right? Big purple. Big red. Even better. Even better than big purple. So, big juicy purple. fruit. Congratulations. Keep up the good work. Good up. Good up. Burton out. Today's the book club's first book fair in the auxiliary gym. They'll be going on all day, so if your class has some free time, head down and check it out. Now let's check in for today's weather. Hey LHS, it's Christina and I'm here to bring you today's weather. Currently it is 78 degrees and sunny. The high for today is 84 and the low is 52. This weekend will continue to be in the 80s for your high and the lows will be in the 60s. It'll be cloudy, so but enjoy it while you can because next week it should be raining every day. Well that's all I got for you today. Have a great one LHS and enjoy your four day weekend. In some more uplifting news, a waitress in Hawaii received a $400 tip from strangers in addition to a $10,000 for her student loans. After a conversation with the couple, waitress Kayla Shandara received a $400 tip, and when she found the couple to thank them, they offered to pay off all of her student loans, saying the best way to thank them was to be her best possible self. Again, with these big tips on the West Coast. I might just move out there if this keeps up. Well, up next we've got a tutorial on changing a timing belt.
Now you tighten the bolt back up. All you're going to do when you do this, you're keeping that tensioner away from the belt. Now you can just grab it right here and pull it off. And it just slides right off. So then this would be when you would get your new package and you would open up a tensioner and a new timing belt and then you go, okay, now you're ready to stick it back on. You want to make sure if you're doing a timing belt, gentlemen, when you take this belt off, you want to make sure you don't turn this camshaft and you don't turn that crankshaft because that's when valves start hitting each other. So now you're ready to get back up. Start at the crankshaft first and go straight up to the cam. Yes, and then it goes over that tension. Now you want to make sure, so what I, what I did, you want to keep one hand right here and use this one, this hand, to go around everything. Here you go. And then it slides right up this tension. Right on top of it. It goes right on top of it. Like this. Like that. See how it goes on top of it? Now you can let go of it here. And then when you loosen this bolt, loosen this bolt, and then that spring is going to jump up and pull tension on that belt again. See how it jumps back up there? So you want to make sure that you have tension here and you have tension here and then tighten the bolt back down. Now you want to take and turn the crankshaft two revolutions, two full revolutions.
That's all for today, LHS. Enjoy your long Easter weekend, and we'll see you back on Tuesday.